Return to home is a crucial and often misunderstood safety option for a drone. It is important to know how it works to avoid accidents, especially when running short of battery. With the Mini 4 Pro and the R3, DJI has added a few new functionalities to this feature. In this video I will show all you need to know about it. There are three different situations when a return to home is initiated. It is possible to trigger a return to home at any time by holding the button on the left of the remote controller. Another possibility is the tap on the H icon on the left of the screen. A choice will appear between landing or return to home. The aircraft will immediately turn towards the home point's direction and start returning home. Before using this feature, make sure that the home point doesn't have obstructions above, like trees or buildings. The drone itself should also be in a location free from obstacles above, before triggering a return to home. In the safety tab of settings, it is possible to choose advanced safety settings to specify the behavior in case of signal loss with the following options. Descend, over and return to home. Descent is to be avoided, as the drone may end up in water, or someone's property, or over trees or bushes. Over is the best choice when flying under trees or other obstacles, as the aircraft will remain in a stationary position, and we can take manual control. On all other occasions, return to home is a good option. When a return to home is triggered under these first two situations, it is possible to abort it by tapping on the Cancel Return to Home icon on the left of the screen. By tapping on the icon showing the percentage of battery left on top of the screen, we can visualize how much time we have until the battery is depleted, until forced landing, and until a return to home. When the battery runs below a specified threshold, a return to home is initiated. A return to home always brings back the drone where the home point is set. It is therefore important to make sure that the home point is in the correct location. After turning on the controller on the drone, the home point is automatically set after a certain number of satellites are connected. A voice message will confirm that the home point has been updated. This generally takes about one minute. I suggest waiting for the voice message before moving away from the takeoff point to make sure that the home point will be in that position. If we fly out immediately when turning on the controller and the drone, the point will be set farther away, which can confuse when returning, especially in case of low battery. If the operator moves during the flight, for example on a car, on a boat, on a bicycle, or while hiking, the home point remains in the original position, and this is something to be aware of. If a return home is initiated, the drone might fly in an unexpected direction, maybe even farther away from the operator. This can be dangerous because of obstacles or when running short of battery. The position of the home point is shown on the map by a yellow circle around an H. While the remote controller is shown with a blue dot and the aircraft with a triangular shape. It is possible to modify the position of the home point at any time in the tab Safety of the settings by selecting the option Update on Point. A map appears on the screen with the position of the home point relative to the aircraft and to the controller. It is possible to drag the yellow circle on the map to move it manually or it can be automatically updated to the position of the aircraft or the controller by tapping on the two icons on the right. In most cases, the best option is to automatically set the home point to the position of the controller. The Mini 3 Pro and Air 3 introduce some new visual aids for return to home. 
There is a handy icon with the letter H showing constantly the direction of the home point on the screen. With the help of this icon I can keep track of the home point and find it very easy to bring back the aircraft manually, so I don't use the manual return to home much anymore. During the return to home a green track shows the path of the aircraft. It is useful to check for any obstacles on the way. Just before landing an icon shows the exact landing position. It gets bigger when the aircraft is closer to the ground. It can be helpful in case of an uneven landing area. These visual aids can be enabled or disabled in the safety tab of the setting by opening the option AR settings. In the Mini 4 Pro there are two different types of return to home that can be chosen in the safety tab of settings in the option Advanced Return to Home. Preset is the traditional one. The auto return altitude must be specified in the safety settings just below Advanced Return to Home. When the return to home is triggered, the aircraft will ascend to the specified height before flying toward the home point and then descend to land. Even though the Mini 4 Pro is equipped with omnidirectional obstacle direction, the return altitude must be set at a height above all surrounding obstacles, but not too high, as otherwise it will take longer to ascend and redescend for landing, which could be dangerous if we are running out of batteries. In most cases, in a flat environment, a height between 30 and 40 meters is suggested. Optimal take advantage of the omnidirectional obstacle detection system of the Mini 3 Pro. The aircraft will disregard the auto return altitude and find the shortest path between the position of the aircraft and the home point, avoiding obstacles, thus saving time and battery life. Some care is needed in case of wiry obstacles such as electric lines and bare branches, as they are not easily detected by the sensors. In low light conditions, obstacle detection is not available. So the drone will ascend to the auto return altitude and fly to the home point, but it will not be able to avoid obstacles, so extra care is needed. Click on this link to watch my playlist covering all the different aspects of the Mini 4 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video interesting. Thank you.